short-term and long-term effects. Let's discuss short-term effects. With each routine diagnostic x-ray examination, there is a very small probability of an individual receiving an acute injurious effect. The dose range for diagnostic fluoroscopic examinations is usually a few rads, radiation absorbed dose. Most of the data pertaining to the short-term effects of radiation comes from animal experimentation. But there are human data which confirm the extrapolation of the animal data to human populations. In general, at 25 rads or less, ordinary laboratory or clinical methods will show no indications of injury. Long-term effects of radiation exposure are those which may manifest themselves years after the original exposure. The latent period, then, is much longer than that associated with acute radiation syndrome. Delayed radiation effects may result from previous acute, high-dose exposures or from chronic, low-level exposure over a period of years. From the standpoint of public health significance, the possibility of long-term effects on many people receiving low chronic exposures is cause for greater concern than the short-term effects of a few individuals receiving a high dose. This is because of the possible deleterious genetic and carcinogenic effects. This is why most hospital policy today involving dose reporting focuses on all radiation-producing examinations where cumulative lifelong doses are of major importance. With the exception of radiation-induced cataracts, which may be differentiated from other types of cataracts, there is no unique disease associated with the long-term effects of radiation. These effects manifest themselves in human populations as a statistical increase in the incidence of certain diseases or pathologies. Many epidemiological investigations on irradiated human beings have provided convincing evidence of exposure to ionizing radiation does result in an increased risk of certain diseases long after the initial dose. This evidence supplements and corroborates that gained from past and present animal experimentation, which demonstrates these same effects. Studies have also been carried out on the victims of the Hiroshima and Nagasaki atomic bomb survivors, as well as those affected by the Chernobyl disaster. Among the long-term effects thus far observed are somatic damage, which may result in an increased incidence of cancer, embryological effects, cataracts, or lifespan shortening, and genetic mutations, which may be expressed many generations after the original radiation damage.